Are you ready for art? Let's go! Today we're going to make fingerprint art. Everyone has fingers. We're going to use the tip of our fingers, tip of our thumb, and we're going to make some art. Some of you have done this before and you've told me that you really liked it, so let's do it together. See what happens. I have two books in the art library. I have this one. This is by Ed Emberley. It's called The Great Thumbprint Drawing Book. You might have seen this one in the art library. I'm going to take some photos of some pages from this book because I think the book is really good. I also have another book. This is by a French author, Marion Ducharz. It's in Chinese from the original French. But you can see this has got fingerprints as well. Some good ideas. Even some handprints. I'm also going to take some photos of this book and I'm going to share them with you as well to help you get some ideas and you can follow along. What are you going to use to make thumbprints? If you have a stamp pad like this, you can use this. I have some different stamp pads in the art room here. This one has red and blue. Ooh, look at this. Many different colors. If you don't have stamp pads in your house, that's okay because you can use a marker and just color your finger with a marker. You can see I already colored my finger. Try different things. You could use some chalk. Maybe chalk could work to make some fingerprints. So I'm going to open the stamp pad. I'm going to use my finger and I'm just going to put it on the paper. There we go. One fingerprint, two fingerprints. I'm going to make a few. One over here, two together, three together, four together. I'm thinking about animals. So what kind of animals could I make with fingerprints? What I'm going to use is a marker and I'm going to try to join these together. To me this looks a little bit like a horse. There we go. It's got the mane, the ears, the legs. Okay, you can fill in the extra parts. And if you want to use a photo of some animals to help you, that's perfectly fine. It's a horse. The other ones you can add whatever you like. Maybe a ladybug. I'm just going to outline it, draw some spots. Six legs, three legs on each side, some antenna, and there's a ladybug. Looks cute. I'm going to give you some other examples of fingerprint art that you can do. These are pictures from the Ed Emberley book. Here's a fish, rabbit, a frog, and a spider, different kinds of hair for little thumbprint people. These are fun. They look like beans. Some pigs, cat, 
a lion monster, and a beaver. I like beavers. Here are some flower ideas. These are very nice. If you want to stop the video at any time, you can pause the image and you can look at it. These are from the other book that I showed you before. Here are some different faces. Good expressions. Some more animals. Different way to do it. More animals. Yeah, the frog looks good. Those are just a few ideas from these books. What I want you to do is to come up with your own ideas. Whatever you can think of. Use fingerprints. Add to it with markers and come up with your own ideas. Once you've finished doing your art, I want you to take a photo of it, get your mom and dad to help you, take a photo of it and submit it on Google Classroom. And you'll need to do that by next week at our normal time. And I'll take a look at it. Hope you have fun and I hope you stay safe and I'll see you next time, okay? Bye-bye.